The festive season is approaching and why not? So if you get some almond cookies, these almond cookies are so easy to prepare and they are super delicious. A great amount of flour and also almond flour that you need for it. I have the exact steps for you. Hang on to this video, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect almond cookies that crumble in your mouth the moment you bite through them. So I can't wait to show you the steps. Let's check it out. Let's begin baking the best tasting almond cookies you have ever tasted. So here I have some almond flour. And this is basically just blended almond. So just blend it until it's really fine. Then we're going to add wheat flour or plain flour. This is simply all-purpose flour. Because I always get crystals if they are the same, they're all the same. And over here I have some powdered sugar. So for this recipe, you can only use powdered sugar. Now if you use normal sugar, you can do it as well. But it's not going to be that sweet and I've tasted it. It changes the texture, it changes the sweetness. So therefore, I really recommend that you get powdered sugar. The next two ingredients are the ingredients that will make the cookies soft and fluffy. Uh, and that will be baking soda and baking powder. Last but not least, we're going to add a tinge of salt just to make the taste a little bit more edgier, not too sweet, but a hint of saltiness. And what we need to do here is just to mix it. Now using my very quick trick, I'm just going to run this through a sieve again. I'm just going to sieve this through to get rid of those little chunks of um, powdered sugar. The next step is to add some oil to bind it together to create the dough. This recipe is not as tricky as the green pea cookies because it really depends on the wetness of the green pea flour. Uh, whereas this is all um, ready-made, it can be bought in stores, uh, in any supermarkets and that's why it is much easier to make. But if you want to learn more about green pea cookies, generally what they are, uh, how do they taste like, I'm going to link it in the description box. And that's where you get all the beautiful recipes with tips and tricks. When you see that the dough is coming together, you can shape it, that's when you stop. Just before shaping the dough into little cookies, I would like to prepare some uh, decorations and that would be using the whole almond. And what you need to do is to cut it lengthwise. So cut it into thick pieces or chop them. Not too fine, but also not too thick. And with these almond pieces, what we're going to do is to sprinkle them on top of the cookies later on. As for the dough here, we are going to make them into slightly bigger cookies and that's why about 15 grams per cookies would do. Um, I like to just eyeball them, but you get to see what I'll be doing later on. So this is the shape, this is the size. <laughs> And I'm just going to place it onto a parchment paper. And with this, try to leave some space in between each dough. They are all now beautifully shaped up. And what we're going to do is just to use a little fork, or you can just use a normal fork, and press on it. If you're wondering what is this, this is actually egg yolk, which we are going to brush on it later on. So... Press it down and try to keep it as even as possible. The other tip is to ensure that it doesn't crack too much. So like you see here, there is a little crack and that's why you need to be a bit careful. Well, it will crack a little as you bake but not too much. So that's fine, it does add a bit of uh, beauty to the cookies later on. Using the fork again, I'm just going to go over the cookies one more time. Because as we press just now, um, the sides of the cookies, they are still pretty high up and I want it to, be, to make it as even as possible because if it's not even, then the cooking time might be slightly different on one side uh, compared to the other side. I'm going to brush a bit of egg yolk on it. Oops. 
these are the chopped almonds that we had earlier I'm going to place them on top of the cookies These beautiful cookies are not done yet because we have to bake them. So in it goes into the oven and I'm going to show you the final result later. The cookies are ready and this is how they look like. Let me just show you. Let's pick one. And the top layer is coated with the egg yolk that we brush on top before baking. And then you can also see these uh, chopped almonds on it. Doesn't it look so beautiful? Now we present it to your guests during Chinese New Year or any festive season, um, Hari Raya, Deepawali, Christmas for example, they are gonna love it. It's so, so delicious. I've tried this recipe many times, perfected it just for you. Now is the taste test. So on the outside, it's slightly hard, but as you bite into it, it starts to crumble and that's when you get the taste, the flavor of the almond in your mouth. It's so good. A perfect combination of almond and also flour. It's not too strong of almond, but it has this really nice combination. You have to try it. And of course, what do I do with the other half? That was so delicious, guys. Try this recipe, it is one of my favorite recipes in terms of cookies. I love it, my husband wanted to steal the cookies while we were recording this so you know how good it is. If you want the exact amount of ingredients to this recipe, check out the link in the description box where I have the direct uh, link to the recipe and you can also print it out as PDF for your use. But while you are there, check out the other recipes for Chinese New Year like Pakwa, Kue Bangkit, um, the green pea cookies that I've made earlier. You are going to love it. We also have some recipes that you would like to cook during reunion dinner for example. Until then, I wish you happy cooking or in this case, happy baking! Yay!